Hey everyone, welcome to Future Press's boss strategy series. My name is Franz, and today we're going to be taking on the Guardian Dragon. This is a relatively simple fight. You can encounter this enemy actually not far from here as a normal enemy, a one-time spawn granted, but normal enemy nonetheless. The first and most important thing you should do is cut off his tail. You don't get anything from it, unfortunately, but it prevents him from being able to use a few really annoying tail attacks, and it also gives you a completely safe place to stand, which is directly behind him. The only thing he can hit you with back there once his tail is gone are uh, a couple of fairly narrow-ranging stomp attacks. The dangerous part of this boss is his aerial flame attack. You want to make sure you get to the side of the arena when he starts flying, because that's your best chance of avoiding it. He will also occasionally uh, spit some fireballs down at you from the air, but most of the time he'll just use that wide-ranging circular area of effect flame breath. And if you get hit by that once, it's a continuous attack, and it has a long enough duration that you will get hit by it a second time when you stand up. There's really no good way to avoid that. From the front, he will use bite attacks, but really, he doesn't have too much to throw at you. He's fairly weak against lightning, and as you can see when he takes to the sky and uh, starts hanging on the wall, I decide to try and throw a few lightning spears at him. Don't tend to have quite the range you need to get him from across the battlefield, but they're, they're useful if you can hit him from a little bit closer than I attempted to do here. You also need to make sure that you aren't standing under him when he lands, because it will damage you. But really, there's, there's not a lot to worry about in this fight. You just get the feel for his few simple attacks, chop off his tail, get behind him, and you can bait his frontal flame breath, and then just move to his side or underneath him, and get in some cheap swings that way as well. At this point, I just got tired of him being obnoxious and flying out of my range, so I just busted out Great Lightning Spear and finished him off with that. But again, perfectly easy to do with pure melee, even easier to do with any kind of a ranged or magic-based build, so not really much to this fight, not much more to say here. And as you can see, I didn't even need that second lightning spear. Far more souls than this guy is worth, in my opinion. But, be that as it may, this is my equipment. Well, I guess my stats first. And again, if you want to take a closer look, you can pause the video here. As you can see, this character is soul level 30. You don't really need to be very high level to beat this boss. Uh, you just need some decent equipment, and at this point in the game, you really should have a plus 10 weapon of some kind. But this is what I used. And there you have it. Thank you all for joining us, hope it was helpful, and we'll see you guys next time.